So that's the first coat of white paint on the roof, on the ceiling, looking good and it's actually so hot in here. I've wanted to strip off a few times just because working near the ceiling, heat rises and all that, got a bit too warm, so probably do another coat tomorrow maybe. So I've just been putting some cladding up on the walls and it's taking shape. Put, started putting a couple of these narrow ones on down here and then I've put I don't know if you can see that because it's quite dark but um, there's how many there, is there two or three to go up on there um, but Rob didn't cut enough for me oh. so <laughs> yeah so we haven't got enough so we'll probably cut those tomorrow because it's getting towards the end of the day now but we're just about to do the big light switch on it's a temporary fix it's just with a plug on Link in the switch, yeah. Out. So it's gonna be a bit of a bodge for now, but it's not a bodge, <laughs> but yeah, that'll be good to get some lights in and test to see if they're working properly. Uh, I gave the ceiling a couple of coats of paint on the weekend, so I'm hoping to uh, just give it one more coat because it just needs a bit more paint. But that's looking nice and fresh, so we're nearly finished cladding. We just still need to get hold of it more of the the corrugated steel. If anyone knows where there is any. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we've got, I've got some tiling to do, so I might start having a go at doing that tomorrow. Are we ready? For the big switch on. Well, for the big boost of work. Woo! Oh, oh that's really good. Um, they're not actually put back in no, the holes yet good. because, um, we wanted to check that they worked first. I'll look at the outside ones as well. I'll just show you the ones outside. to be one of my days off but I'm just so excited about learning how to tile that I've sucked my day off well I had a nice chilled morning so it's about dinner time now and I've come outside and we're getting getting prepped for the tiling so this morning Rob's just finished off this wall um, and he's put this nice little switch in there and I'm about to start tiling I've got Walter in here with me as well so Rob's just gone to look for some spaces and yeah, I'm really looking forward to learning how to tile. I've never done it before and I want as little help as possible from Rob so that I can learn how to do it myself. So yeah, pink tiles all the way. Can't wait to see how it looks by, hopefully by the end of the day. I've got to admit that yesterday I didn't get any tiling done in the end, which was a bit of a shame because Rob's brother pointed out that we need to seal the ply before we tile onto it because it sucks the moisture out of the adhesive. So we've sealed it and it's dried and now I'm going to finally have a gut tiling.
it is Sunday so I'm just taking this opportunity to finish off the tiling um, I went and picked up a diamond cutting disc yesterday which you can cut tiles with so I've got both the sides done I'm really pleased with that, how that looks and then I've decided that I'm going to run the tiles this way for the front and I just think that's going to be the best orientation for them to sort of look pleasing to the eye so obviously I'm going to have to cut um, diagonal lines in these ones along here. So I'm going to start off today by just tiling the one, the whole ones in. Rob's still, I think he's just got up actually, but he's going to come and help me or show me how to cut them once he's ready to come out. Let's get on with the tiling. So yesterday we managed to finish tiling the fireplace and I'm really pleased with the tile choice. I think it looks really good and the way that we've tiled it um, with the position of the tiling and everything. So really pleased with that and we're just waiting for the adhesive to dry so that we can grout it. Like I said before, I've got some dark grey coloured grout so that's going to really stand out I think once we do that I'm really looking forward to finishing it off with the grout and then we can get the fire pit put back the, the, not the fire, I keep calling it the fire pit the log burner we can get that put back on there just finished grouting and I love it it looks so good I've really enjoyed tiling um, Rob said he didn't want to do it because he hates it but I thought it was quite easy to do there's just a few little bits of silicon and stuff that want scraping off but other than that I'm quite happy with it the only thing that I need to do is finish off this edge here because obviously it's quite ugly so we need to find some trim we might be able to put some of this stuff on there so we'll see about that. So I've been having a bit of an issue trying to source some, some corrugated tin for the wall that I wanted to put it on in the shipping container. So we've had a bit of a brainstorm and last night I was thinking, shall I wallpaper it? Shall I just get some cool like mural wallpaper? And then I thought about this paint that I've seen a while ago and um, it's by Craig and Rose and it's artisan, the artisan range and we've decided to go with this copper effect paint and as well as this i've got this patina paint or patina however you say it um so you put you you put the copper paint on and then you put this on top that's supposed to sort of like age the paint and give it the patina so i'm really excited to try that so we need to board out that back wall and then we c i'm going to undercoat it i think with some emulsion and then i'm going to try out this copper effect paint so i'm really excited to try it um i hope it goes okay and i hope i'm going to like it as well because i was kind of in two minds about whether to go with this or with like a stern effect like a concrete effect paint but rob convinced me to get this copper paint so he's going to be in trouble if i don't like it um it was pretty pricey actually it was like a hundred pounds for the for the paint and for the patina effect so i really hope it works and um, we're just in hull at the moment in our camper van 
just picking up some bits and bobs so yeah fingers crossed it works so we're back in the workshop today after quite a few days of not doing anything in here we've both been really busy me with seed starting and getting the flower farm ready for the season ahead and Rob's been spreading fertilizer on the crops so what we're going to do today is get this back wall cladded with plywood and then that's going to be ready for painting with my new copper paint so we're going to, we need to cut the boards down to size because the studs in the wall don't quite match up with the edges of the board so unfortunately we're going to have to trim those down a bit Rob's already got getting the boards out so we're going to get that done today and then I can start prepping for the painting <laughs> So the boarding is up and we've countersunk the screw holes and then I've filled them in and I've filled in the, the join between the two boards. And then I'm getting ready to paint. Once the fill is dry, I'm going to sand it down and give it a coat of emulsion as a base layer before I put the copper paint on. So I'll probably do that this afternoon. And then maybe I can get the, the I don't know whether you put two coats of this copper paint on but we'll try uh, maybe put one on tomorrow so that'll be exciting. So that's the main bulk of that wall painted. Oh and there was something else I wanted to tell you about which was these back doors and we were originally just going to clad them in Yorkshire boarding so we have got this wooden boarding to go on to these doors but I have seen this IKEA hack on TikTok, Pinterest, YouTube which is involves these mirrors. I actually got these from a different shop, not IKEA but the same thing. So that's going to be exciting, I can't wait to try that. Um, and, I, and that is just going to cover this full back wall so when I'm making bouquets and things I can stand and look in the mirror at my creations and make sure they look okay to whoever is going to be viewing them from, from the opposite side to me. So then this other uh, big door I want to put some ply on there and paint that as a big chalkboard so that's going to be sort of like the the list of things that I need to do and I can tick those things off or rub them off and that's going to keep me nice and productive. I've always wanted a big chalkboard or a big whiteboard somewhere that helps me to visualise the lists of things that I need to do and keep me productive. So that's going to be really handy and then in the summer if I'm selling bouquets and things I can open those doors and write my prices on the on the chalkboard so that's going to be really really handy and we've got the steel delivered I don't know if I mentioned that already um, so Rob's ready to weld the benches together we're going to have a long bench along this wall here and then another one that is on wheels that will fit here and in front of the chalkboard area where that's going to go so yeah I need to paint this wall here we need to build the benches I need to sand the floor and seal it. I don't know what I'm going to use on the floor yet because it's really nice hardwood. Oh yes, I need to make my concrete sink. We need to double check our research on that one and um, build the mould and concrete, pour the concrete into the mould. So uh, yeah, still plenty to do but we are slowly getting on with it and I'm hoping that it's going to be just about ready when the flowers start becoming ready in spring too in a few weeks time. Okay guys so I'm up early this morning because I'm so excited about putting the first layer of the copper paint on the wall of the shipping container so I'm just having a cup of tea. I just want to show you this. Malt, uh, tea and biscuits flavoured tea bags so trying those. They were recommended to us by our favourite ever YouTubers, they are called King In It and actually they are travel vloggers which isn't anything like the channel that I have but 
they are my absolute favourite YouTubers. I take big inspiration from them. So yeah, let's get this cup of tea and go outside. I'm ready to paint. Okay, so I've just put the second coat of the copper paint on and with this coat you have to roll it on and then use a brush to sort of create texture after you've rolled it. I wonder if the camera's picking that up, I'm not sure if it will be. But I'm liking it. wasn't so sure about it at first but it's growing on me and I think it goes nicely with the pink tiles so I'm pleased about that and I've been messing around with the patina on this board uh, and there isn't really one thing that I'm happy with <laughs> just yet so we'll see I'm just gonna have to go for it on the on the main wall I'm thinking I like the splashes but I don't want them all to be uniform so I think I might have a little go with a brush and then flick Flick the stuff onto the wall, but we'll see. I can always paint over it, I think, if it, if it goes wrong. <laughs> the second coat has been drying for a few hours now, and I'm sort of ready to be putting the patina on the wall. I've just um, gaffer taped some of this plastic down there so that if it splashes on the floor, then it's not covering everything. Uh, but I'm just waiting for Rob to come back from the fields because he's been cleaning out drains and he's gonna help me give some guidance I think just because I don't want to do it alone but love to know what you think of my copper patina back wall um, I have to say that it is not love at first sight for me I'm struggling to get used to it and I'm not sure if I am 100% happy with it I'm really happy with the way that this corner turned out because I like how sort of thick it went on but then in areas down here it kind of looks a bit splashy and um, so we went with a spray bottle in the end to um, apply the solution and I like the way it drips down but there's some areas where it's just not looking too good for me but hopefully I'll get used to it hopefully once the studio is all finished I'll uh, and everything's in here like the tables and everything I'll get used to it a bit more and I'll be happier with it if not I'm just gonna have to paint over it but I really don't want to do that because the paint was about £100 so I'm gonna have to get used to it just for now and hopefully it will grow on me um, Rob's just put some electrics in down here yesterday which is where I want my bloom and grey neon light so I'm really adamant that I'm going to have a neon light in here that says bloom and grey and I'm just going to have to save up for that because they're, they're a bit pricey as well so once I can afford that it's definitely going up there because I'm, I think it's going to make it look really cool in here so I don't think I'm going to post many more of these container videos for now because uh, it's slowed down a bit. We're both quite busy at the moment, um, but I may just film the TikTok mirror video and maybe building the, the, the tables and possibly the, um, the concrete sink as well. And then I will be ready for a final reveal, hopefully. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Thank you.